It's Monday night, pretty late, but I just had a really sick idea. So I'm here doing some sketching, trying to work out how it's going to work. But this is kind of what it looks like right now. So the idea is to make a basketball shooter where you put a ping pong ball here and it's gonna shoot into some sort of net. So it's early stages, but the plan is to use this mechanism some somehow to make it work. Let's see what we can come up with. I wanted to get rolling on this project quickly, so I threw together a quick prototype. It is now printed, so let's throw the thing together and see what we get. actually works pretty well but the balls are coming off on a little bit of a steep angle and this is supposed to be shooting basketballs so it has to have an arc so what I think I'm gonna do is try to eliminate the angle a little bit here so the ball will roll off a little bit higher let's make those changes we can throw the print together and test it out so I have the modified scoop pieces and I made two they're a little bit different this one has a 60 millimeter radius here this one has a 70 millimeter radius here so it's a little bit more shallow so this should release the ball later this should release the ball a little bit earlier but this one right here is a 50 millimeter so there should be an improvement so let's test out the 60 first and see what we got The arc was definitely better there, but not enough for what I'm looking for because I really want to go like that. So let's try the 70 now. So the 70 was still not quite high enough. So I'm just gonna change this dimension to 80 right here. Print that and see if we get a better improvement. Okay, 80 millimeters swapped in there. Let's give it a first test. So it's definitely got more arc. I think I could give it even more arc, but for now, I think it's good enough to test with this backboard that I just printed. So let's grab the post and base off of the printer, and then we can put that together and test it out. But that's, that's the whole point of this. It's supposed to be something that you can get better at. Let's try it again. Yeah. So the last thing I'm doing is I'm printing a new backboard with some mesh. So hopefully that prints. I'm not sure if it's going to, but we'll find out in about two hours. So it actually printed beautifully, and I love the aesthetic of this backboard. It turned out better than I expected. Another cool thing is that you can actually get a swish on this mesh. So we got a great looking basket. This is working really well. You can actually shoot a ball like six or seven feet, maybe even further with it. So I'm gonna get some photos, get the files ready for my website, and then we can put this thing to the ultimate test and see how far we can hit shots from. Let's do it. While I have this backdrop set up, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get a side-by-side -side comparison between the two scoops. So this is the final version that I went with, which has a 90 millimeter radius here. This is the original that I started with and it has a 50 millimeter radius here. And you can see when they're side-by-side, -side, it's actually a pretty significant difference. So I glued these two bases together. I added this bar across them so I could flick them both at the exact same time. So let's get some slow-mo shots and see if there's any difference. So this is a light shot. And this is a little bit of a harder shot.
Unsurprisingly, the 90 millimeter scoop gives you a way better trajectory for a basketball shot. So it's worth going through all the different iterations to figure that out. All right, let's go play some basketball. So I'm here in living room arena. This is coffee table court. Let's play some ball. So let's start simple with a one and a half foot shot. Easy, let's go for the court length shot. This is about three and a half feet. Yeah. All right, three tries, not bad, not bad. Let's uh, bump this up to six feet. Oh my god! Yeah! Okay, six feet, that took like, I don't know, 30 tries. Let's push it to nine feet. The Moneyballer is another project that exceeded all my expectations. I did not expect it to go in from nine feet and it only took like 20 tries, which it can actually shoot 12 or more feet, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to make shots from those distances. The files are available on my website for this. The link is in the description below. Super easy to print, super easy to put together and a ton of fun. I'd love to hear what you guys think, so comment below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.